Hello everyone, welcome to Switch Up as we once again have a look at some of the games coming out for the Switch in this upcoming week. In terms of dates, we'll be going from the 13th of August up until the 19th, and as we always do, we'll first look at any games that may have missed one of these videos for whatever reason before jumping into the week at hand. So with that said, what's coming out this week? Well, let's find out. We'll begin by looking at a game from the sponsor of today's video, and that's Captain Velvet Meteor, The Jump Plus Dimensions. This released fairly recently on the Switch and sees you play as Damien, who is struggling with the loneliness a move to a new country has brought him and therefore creates an imaginary friend, Captain Velvet Meteor. You'll play both in the real world, dealing with the struggles of everyday life, and Damien's interactions with his family in his grandmother's home, before then diving into the world of Damien's imagination, The Jump Plus Dimensions. Here you'll be taking part in strategic battles that include puzzle and stealth elements, using signature attacks of your jump plus companions to unleash massive damage on hordes of enemies, or you can be strategic and use abilities that inflict status effects or knock enemies aside to help you take control of the battlefield. It costs £18.89 and regional equivalents have been at the bottom of your screen, and there will be links in the description and the top in comment if you are interested in purchasing this game. A quick word on a game that is already out, and that is Voyage. This describes itself as a cinematic adventure game which captures the essence of shared exploration. The blurb goes on to say that you can play by yourself or with a friend on a journey that revolves around two survivors to search for answers of a long forgotten past. The narrative is handled wordlessly with the emphasis on exploration in a similar vein I would think to something like Journey, and the visuals and music from the trailer are certainly appealing. As I said, it is out now and it sells for $11.99. Let's move on to the games coming out this week, and the first is one that may interest a number of people in Blossom Tales 2, The Minotaur Prince. This follow-up to the very decent first game in this series is set 100 years after the events of that game, with your granddad's latest tale taking you on a journey through haunted forests, pirate shores and other mysterious lands. It retains the top-down action of its predecessor with the main story and side quest to complete, mini dungeons and caves to discover, an array of weapons and abilities, and choices that will influence the story. It promises 15 plus hours of gameplay and it will sell for £11.39 or your regional equivalent, but it does have 10% off of that price up until launch day which is the 16th. Then we have Two Point Campus, which did have a bonus content release last week and was therefore in last week's video, so I won't spend too long on it, but it is the follow-up to the excellent Two Point Hospital, of course, which itself had some of the team from Theme Hospital from back in the day behind it. It's a management simulation game with the business model this time taking the form of a university campus, and we have already reviewed this game and very much enjoyed it. I'll put a card for that review in the top right-hand corner if you want the full story. Frankly, the results speak for themselves. Academia has never been more appealing, more dynamic, more whatever this is. Today's campus is a place to live. We also have Little League World Series Baseball 2022, published by Game Mill. It says here that you can customise your team's look, equipment and batting style, use abilities like slow time and bat tank, which sounds more like a vehicle you'd have found in the 1960s Batman TV show, and you can also earn player boosting stickers that allow you to build the most powerful team. There are some pretty good baseball games on the Switch, even for a complete layman to the sport like myself, so this one might be batting a little out of its league by asking for £44.99, but you can at least get 20% off of that price up until launch day on the 17th. Then we have Dynabomb 2, an action-adventure game set over 8 worlds, each containing 8 levels. There are two characters to choose from or you can play in local co-op and it has an interesting arcade look to it. The blurb goes on to mention secret levels and a secret world as well as hidden areas to find and it could be fun with a friend 
Although it does seem to be about five times the price of the first game. I don't know anything about this series, so I don't know how much bigger this one's going to be. But it will cost you £17.99, although it is another game with a pre-launch discount, this time of 20%. The next game is called Robo Revenge Squad and it is a 4 player co-op action game which can be played both locally or online. You'll be fighting alien robots with robots of your own made from everyday objects such as fridges, baseball bats and disco balls if that can be classed as an everyday object but either way you'll be heading into mission based campaigns to take on the aforementioned alien robots. You can level up to unlock gadgets and you can use a mixture of range or melee attacks on your mission. This one is also out on the 17th and it will cost you £17.99. There's Metropolis, a point and click adventure game with a sci-fi detective setting. You play as Henry on an abandoned planet Earth in a search for a legendary lost city. It's the year 5000 and Henry Dijon and his team of archaeologists leave Mars to return to a forgotten Earth to search for lost treasures, that is at least until Henry's professor is kidnapped. There are 50 plus hand drawn scenes, full voiceovers and a cast of weird and wonderful characters according to the blurb. It's another game that will cost you £17.99 and it's out on the 18th. Every corner of this blasted landscape, I saw Total being bundled onto a spaceship. Thank you, human. Your kindness will be remembered when the machines rise. Where's Total? Tell me! Next up then we have Cursed to Golf. You play as a cursed golf player in golf purgatory after a freak accident takes you out as you're about to make the winning shot of an international tournament. However, legend says that playing through the devious courses of golf purgatory could allow you to escape back to the land of the living. The blurb mentions that this offers a new take on, of course, golfing, but also the roguelike genre, with you needing to make par or be returned to the beginning of each course. There are courses across four biomes, hazards to navigate and over 20 unique power-ups to use, 80 plus holes and a daily challenge mode as well as online leaderboards. It almost seems worth it for the story alone if you ask me, and if you are interested it will cost you £16.99 or your regional equivalent. The penultimate game for the week is Slaycation Paradise, a twin stick shooter mixed with tower defence. You'll be visiting unique and exotic apocalyptic locations filled with an array of monsters intent on your demise. Sounds a bit like my last trip to South End to be fair. Whilst tailoring your tower defence setup and using a plethora of weapons, you'll be cutting through mobs like butter or taking down kaiju sized monsters. If it sounds like exactly the type of break you've been looking for, it'll be out on the 18th and it'll cost you £14.99. And finally for the week we have The Room 2 from Fireproof Games. This is a puzzle game, a part of a popular series on mobile devices where you must open unique boxes by turning them and solving puzzles, unlocking mechanisms and deciphering codes. I reviewed the first one when it came to the Switch a good few years ago now, I'm actually very surprised it took this long for the second game to follow it to the Switch, and yes I did make the very obvious but completely necessary reference to the infamous Tommy Wiseau film in there somewhere. Link to that review is in the top right hand corner if you want to watch one of our earlier efforts. Touchscreen controls or Joy-Con motion controls are available to use here and if this sequel is anything like the first game then it will be a fun little brain teaser. It will cost you £6.99 or your original equivalent. So there you have it, another week of Nintendo Switch releases. Does anything here interest you? Will you be picking any of them up? Please do let us know in the comment section below. 
Another big thank you to the sponsors of today's video. Please do check out their game, Captain Velvet Meteor, the Jump Plus Dimensions. As I said, there are links in the top in comment and the description of this video. As I mentioned last time, I have recently been away for a holiday, so I'm just getting back into the swing of things. I had a bit of a self-imposed ban from looking at anything Switch related and just concentrated on playing a few games for fun while I was away. So apologies if I have missed anything obvious. I will make sure I'll put it in next week's video if that is the case. Don't forget if you are looking for eShop credit to pick up any of these games or anything else for that matter, you can get yourself eShop cards at our website switchup.gg and we do have another 10% off for this month using the code SWITCHUP. If you're looking to import anything, there's also a link down there to Play Asia. Use the link, then use the code that's stated, and you can get yourself 5% off of an order. A quick thank you to our Patreons, as always, for your continued support, and to each and every one of you for watching our videos. Take care, and until next time, happy gaming.